All right, we're back at Skidmore Family Farm. And this morning, I built a nesting box to attach to our chicken tractor. Uh, we've got two, or we've got six Rhode Island Reds with, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm watching the chickens, they're acting silly. Uh, we've got six Rhode Island Reds, uh, hens that are nesting we've been getting two to four i think eggs here recently they just started laying uh, so i went ahead and got them a nesting box i'm a little behind on that but i went ahead and got one built this morning and put through some wood chips that we had um, from the from the brooder when they were chicks I still had some leftovers, so I threw some of that in there, and we are going to get uh, some straw at Rural King here shortly. Um, we got to go pick the nieces and nephews up. They're wanting to come stay for the week, so that should be eventful. We'll probably get some videos on that also. Um, I'll take the kids uh, hiking, backpacking, whatever, probably. Uh, maybe go to the Hoosier National Forest or at least we'll go at the very least we'll go to um, the Morgan and Monroe forestry which is just basically it's down the street from where we live but let's get on that um, that nesting box as you can see we have it covered up with a tarp it's just on the back of the chicken tractor Okay, I've pulled back the tarp. Uh, there's the wood chips that I was telling you that I had left over from the chicks. Um, basically, I just took all scrap material. I matched up the base with some two or one by sixes treated that I had. Um, and if you look here, I made the plywood itself a little bit longer and it overlaps the chicken tractor um, you can see right here this is the base of the nesting box and then the, I let the plywood go an inch, inch longer so that it would overlap that so we can secure it I shot screws from the top edge of the plywood this base here I've got screws going down into there hey you guys quiet down Try and do video here. Um, and this was all plywood that was left over from the barn that we just built. And the, the one by sixes and two by fours that you'll see, that was wood that I've just gotten off various projects. Or I think some of it was an old deck that I had taken out. Oh, one was in the box, but you can see I've got three nesting boxes and they're definitely very curious about it already uh, breaking it in real quick they're not afraid of it or anything so that's good I think they're wanting out more than anything but um, we got that all built and ready to go like I said I just got to get some straw um, and they should take right off in that hopefully this will make it a lot easier than the tote you can see the tote that left one um it had a hole in the lid that i was using i set it up on end inside of the chicken tractor and that's what we were using as a nesting box um, to get our eggs out of we were trying to give them a place a designated place inside the chicken tractor um but everything seemed to be working out, so hopefully the nesting box will be a lot easier for us. We can just get up there, open the lid up. But here's what I wanted to show you. Uh, I know people probably thought I was crazy since it was uh, December, but you can see all these um, seeds have sprouted. Now we're going to let them keep going until we get a point that, uh, unless I know we're going to get some really cold weather, 
Um, I'm just going to let them keep going. They're really damp underneath this tarp. But you can see that the some of them are actually getting into the ground a little bit. Uh, working their way out and growing probably from where it's been stepped on. But you can see here. Those are sprouts. The chickens will eat that up. Um, what I'll probably do is this whole area here that's tarped off. Um, basically, it'll be where the original uh, uh, run chicken run area that I had. But you can see through here all this little looks like grass or whatever sprouting but that's all that is all uh, the wheat that we planted you can see there's a big pile of seeds look at all that that's all sprouted that basically doubles the weight of the seed as far as if you're going to look at it from a, a per pound or per ounce um, it doubles the nutrition value plus uh, like I said, the weight itself, you can see here really good too where the, this has been growing. And what I'll do is, I'll just let them out here and I might move the fence, I might leave it where it's at. Um, but they'll, they'll come straight here and, and go at it basically. They'll, they, they know what they're looking for when it comes to that stuff. They'll clean that out, and I'll probably throw some more seed out and cover it right back up. But you can see, definitely here, you can see where it's grown. And, and like I said, I'll just probably give it uh, another week or however long um, that I, as long as I feel like it's still growing and sprouting out and getting bigger, I'll just let it go. Um, Next batch, um, if the soil is soft enough, I will I will just let it uh, seed itself into the ground. I'll try and rake it up to where I can get the seeds into the soil some. And with this mild winter we're having so far, um, I should be able to keep rotating them back and forth um, and letting them eat this. I said we bought a 50 pound bag of I think it was red uh, winter wheat or red something uh, I don't remember the exact name but that's about it um, I built the door for the barn the other day got to finish it up and finish painting it and put some trim stuff around it and uh, put the gutter boards on and then once I get that done, all the wood will be pretty much gone. I can start cleaning all this mess up, all these ladders and walk boards and my shop vac. I can get that all in the barn um, uh, to get the backyard cleaned up. That way this spring everything will look nice and tidy as far as uh, from a selling standpoint. Well, that's about it. Here, let's get a, we'll get some more of the chickens real quick. They're acting crazy. Um, they've been doing pretty good. They're eating like pigs and laying the eggs is, is about as well as can be expected. They're just five months old and they're all seem to be, I'm guessing all of them are laying, if not at least four or five of them because of the amount of eggs that we're getting on a regular basis. Um, we're, we're averaging probably four a day and it's not even New Year's Eve is tomorrow and they just started laying on Christmas Eve so we're we feel like we're doing pretty good with that or the chickens are doing good I should say <laughs> um, we didn't we're just trying to feed them like they should be and uh, keep them good and healthy and we have been running, I don't know if you can see the light on in there, we've got two lights that we run for 12 on and 12 off to try to keep that uh, daylight and dark to trigger them to lay. I don't know that that's helping, but hopefully it is since we're paying for the electricity.
but um, that's about it. The hens are laying, the barn's getting almost finished, and uh, we'll move on to the next project. Then we'll let you know what we're going to be doing next, I guess. Um, I think it'll be up in the attic. We've got some small projects um, on the outside as weather permits, but should be up in the attic of our house next, the second uh, upper level. Um, to clean that out, get the materials that need to go in the barn in there, and finish the attic up. And I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do with it, but we're going to, at the very least, get it cleaned up and probably add some lights and stuff. It's got a few lights and electrical uh, receptacles in there, but we're going to try and give it a better appearance. At the very least, we'll paint the plywood that's up there to brighten it up. But um, nope, that's about it. Thanks for watching our videos on the Skidmore Family Farm. Have a great day.